Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate TV light in the dark in Anime Studio. Tutorial. Alright, now as you can see I have already drawn a living room with uh, the TV and everything and this is going to represent a couch. And uh, suppose we have a character that is uh, watching TV at night. Uh, what we want to do, of course, uh, there's uh, out of the TV there comes light and we need to animate that light into a dark room. Dark room. So how are we going to do that? Well, uh, first we are going to zoom in on the television right now. And what we want to do, if I zoom in a bit more, what we want to do is first we want to have a line, a, a light surround uh, the screen. So let's do that right now. Um, I'm going right here on the TV layer, and I make a new vector layer above it, and I just simply call it light. Then what I do, I take the draw shape tool, and I deselect auto stroke and auto fill. We don't need the color for now and that's good and make sure this one is selected so now while we have chosen rectangle we are going to draw a rectangle right here just as the size of the screen uh, let's see like this and then we are making a second rectangle surround the screen but a little bit bigger kind of like this all right so now what we are going to do, we are going to take uh, the create shape tool and uh, click off and what we are going to do is we are going to select the object and then you see uh, this is selected and then we are going to choose a color I'm going to choose white and I'm going to choose fill because we want to f we on only want to have the color, we don't want to have it as a stroke and then you click on create shape so now as you can see it has a white shape so uh, then what we are going to do um, we select the shape again and then we are going to effects and we click on soft edge and then you choose blur, ra blur radius 8 and you click OK so uh, you don't see any difference by now but if you would go to file and you would go to preview you see it looks like this so now we have uh, the, the TV light surround the object surround the screen so now we are going to draw the the light uh, outside of the TV and the darkness uh, at the same time so what we are going to do, we want to have it uh, underneath the, ca the, the couch layer because uh, the c if you have, for instance, if you would have light coming out of the TV right here, uh, there won't be any light on the back of the couch, of course. So it needs to be underneath the couch layer. So I'm going to make a new layer and I call it dark light. There we go. So then I take the draw shape tool and this time I'll choose auto fill and what you are going to do is if I make this normal again I'm going to draw a shape it doesn't matter what color as long as it is just a rectangle like this and then you take the select shape tool you click on so that it's selected and then you go to effect and you click on gradient now you with gradient you are able to uh, put two different colors on uh, on the same object so first what we are going to do we are going to click on the type and we're going to click radial and you already see how it's going to look like and then we are going to click on allow transparency so then what I'm going to do click on this color first and I put it to black just as the other one and I'm going to change the transparency of it with this right here I'm going to move it right here up to uh, let's say 100 somewhere beneath 100 101 
and we are going to do the same thing with this one right here it's already black and we're going to choose for this it will stay 200 like this so then when you click OK you see we have created darkness inside it and a bit of light surround it surround the television so if you would take the select shape tool you see this uh, thing right here and with this if you move this right here you can see you can change the light so now if you put it like this it looks like there's light coming out of uh, the television so first I'll just put it a bit into center so it looks a bit better so and if we are going to put it like this now we are going to animate it and first uh, w the first thing that we are going to animate is the light itself uh, the light uh, surround the screen and what I do I just zoom in a little bit and I select this sh the shape surround it and then I go to frame 6 and then I go to the style panel on the fill color and I'm going to make it a bit more transparent like this and click OK and then you are already seeing keyframes are created then you're going to frame 12 and you just uh, copy these keyframes and you paste them on frame 12 and then what you are going to do is is now you're going to select these keyframes right here you click on uh, the right mouse and click cycle and you can put this away so now if you would play it this animation will go through the whole timeline so uh, if I would just zoom in you would see it probably better if you would that's how it this is how it looks like so now we have animated that then we go back and now we are going to make going to animate the other light right here and first what I'm going to do by the way is I'm going to change the color of the couch because the couch looks a bit light and we don't want that of course it has to be a little bit darker right now and same thing with this one I just select the object and I take the eyedropper tool and by clicking here you get the same color so back to uh, the darkness and the light what you do is I zoom out a little bit for this one a bit more what I do I just make it maybe a little bit right here so I can see what, yeah there we go so then what you are going to do you go you're going to frame 6 and you take this little thing right here and you move it a bit higher so the light as you can see is changing it's you don't have too much just a lot of a little bit yeah, like that and then you are going to frame 12 and you just do the same thing as we did before go to edit copy and edit and paste and then you are uh, selecting the keyframe again click on your right mouse click on cycle and then as you can see the whole this animation will go through the whole timeline so now if I would play it now we have animated uh, a TV uh, with the light in the dark so there we go uh, that's the end of this video I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I, of course I hope to see you in the next one if you like this video and you want to learn more about Anime Studio, then please subscribe to this channel. I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.